Hi, I'm Jane O'Reilly, and this is Ageless. I'm 40, and my life is just getting started. I'm here to share real talk and real experiences about how to live life ageless. Nothing's off the table. You know the vibes. Let's go. Welcome back to Ageless. I'm Jane O'Reilly, and today is my 50th episode, and I couldn't be happier to celebrate this milestone with you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for following along, because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this, and I am just so grateful today. So to celebrate this milestone, I am joined today by two of the co-founders of Ari, a company that is near and dear to my heart and one that I have been teasing for months now. Ari's mission is to empower billions of people to experience bliss. Mental health is a massive problem and finding the right support is overwhelming. Ari guides people on their mental health journeys by providing them with a user-friendly platform that offers a wide range of resources, tools, and access to experienced facilitators ranging from traditional therapy to alternative solutions like breathwork and meditation. Ari is the one-stop solution for both those seeking and offering support to stop searching and start growing. I want to welcome Paul Burke and Lindy Eman to the show. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. So to kick things off, I thought we could go around and have you guys do a quick intro of yourselves. So Paul, let's start with you. Well, Nicole, I was just on my intro. It took 20 minutes to give my story, but no, I, uh, Paul Burke, founder, co-founder and CEO of Ari. Um, I don't know, they, I think your listeners know a decent about my background, so I'm not sure how much else you want me to tell. Well, they're just going to have to dig up that podcast and listen to the background. Okay. This is just an intro yeah. of who you are and and how you're affiliated with Ari, and, and we'll get into the evolution, but I just wanted to introduce you guys first. Lindy, how about you? So I'm Lindy. Um, I've also been a guest on Ageless before, but um, I'm a co-founder of Ari and an expert in a wide array of uh, mental and spiritual health and wellness modalities. I've spent um, a lot of my life exploring different kinds of healing styles, connecting to people all over the world, and really just kind of diving deep into this healing space and uh, learning about it from the inside out. And I'm so excited to be bringing Ari to life to kind of help more people be able to explore what I in my own life have been able to access. I've been on the sidelines of the evolution here, and it's just been such a beautiful process to watch. So why don't you walk us through the evolution of Ari, and I'll just let you guys take it from here on that. Should I kick it off? Kick sure, it off. go for it. Okay, so uh, it's sort of been a long time coming. Uh, the idea started a couple of years ago, actually, with my sister. Uh, we had both come back within the last six months or seven months uh, from retreats in Costa Rica. That's exactly where I met Lindy. And in the jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Um, <laughs> and we, you know, we were just talking about how we wanted an extension of the community we experienced there. And then she was doing another program and was telling me all about how difficult it is for facilitators or providers or other people, anything from like a, a coach or a therapist or you know, like a yogi or a shaman or whatever to actually grow their practice and manage their practices and how most people in that space really um, have to become like marketing and technology experts to spend so much of their time doing that as opposed to, you know, doing what they love and like really what they're gifted to do, which is helping people. So that was, that was through the, uh, the original idea. I had personally not, I was not in a head space to really become a founder and CEO again, still, still uh, have a little PTSD from my last experience. And, uh, but as time went on, um, you know, I, I, the idea wouldn't leave my head. Yeah, you know, I was in Costa Rica. I tried buying a hotel and doing all this and like changing. I would do a lot of other stuff and just nothing quite worked. Like I kept feeling close by my source, by my higher power, by God, whatever you want to call it, by the universe, to do something different. And um, it wasn't until I met Shira. Uh, you know, the original name of the company was was Tribe, and so one day I was talking to Jaina and talking to you, and you said, you know, there's only two things 
that you talk about and when you talk about them like you absolutely line up and your energy shifts and you just get so passionate and you said it's tribe and, and your old dog who passed away who is also named Ari. So uh, we had that conversation. I think literally the next day, Lindy just happened. I thought Lindy was on some corner of the globe. She can talk to us about her globe trotting, but uh, she was in Chicago. We like went for a walk the next day. And I remember we were standing over under like the Michigan Avenue bridge uh, on the river walk in Chicago. And I was I'm telling her about this idea. And I, looking over you know, to my left Lindy standing there and she was like puts her hands on her heart and um she just smiled and then we just kept talking and then we kept talking and we met up that night and sort of like hey I was like I can't do this alone you know and I need and I needed someone with Lindy's background and experience and just really a partner to like put this off with so uh hopefully that wasn't too long but that's that's where I got you to Lindy so <laughs> let's hear it. Yeah. I, I mean, and it was such divine timing. I was in a place in my life where I had, I had left kind of everything I was doing behind about a year, almost exactly before Paul and I reconnected. Um, and I had just gotten to a point where it, I'd always felt called to create and be part of something bigger. And, you know, that was, that was helping the world. And I didn't know what that was. And a year before Paul and I reconnected, I had really just kind of left everything behind and gone on this this journey, um, traveling and kind of, you know, self-discovery and trying to figure out what it was that I wanted to do. And I felt very called to be helping people and bringing so much of what I had learned in my travels and in my own healing experience to the world. And when Paul told me about this idea that he had, like he said, and then it was called Tribe, I it, it was just so incredibly divinely timed. Uh, and I, you know, there was, there wasn't even really a question of it. It was just like, yes, this is what we're doing and the world needs this. Um, and in my own experience, having worked with so many different facilitators around the world, I had seen so many of my friends struggling with the exact problem that we are trying to solve with Ari, where they were like, I just, you know, they, they came to this earth. They feel called to, you know, the path that they're on to help people and to help people grow and to change and evolve in whatever way is best for them. But these facilitators, whatever modality they have, they get so bogged down in having to, you know, figure out how to be a marketing expert or figure out the algorithm on Instagram or something like that. You know, they, they don't necessarily want to be influencers. They just want to help people. But there's so much currently that they have to learn how to do from a business perspective that it's a barrier to entry for a lot of people. Um, and being able to kind of help people bridge that gap between their natural abilities to help people and being able to bring that help to the masses. Um, I'm just, it feels like such a gift to be able to be part of what we're, what we're creating. Nobody can see this, but there is literally a cat tail <laughs> wrapped around Lindy's neck right now. <laughs> so there is cute. a beautiful little Tino kitty. Yeah. <laughs> He's very affectionate and cuddly. I, I love what you just shared and um, being somebody that has run a fitness business, uh, I was really excited about Ari when Paul first shared the idea with me because it's something that is needed. There is a gap in the marketplace. There, there needs to be a place like a community where facilitators, as you say, are connected to real life users. And so I feel like there's a, there's a need for this. And so just hearing the passion that you both have is, is truly exciting and I'm, I'm excited for what's coming next. And I guess my next question is what sets you apart from other wellness solutions? So we're really the only company or venture um, that is tackling this from a holistic standpoint. Um, you know, we've, part of those two years where I couldn't let this go and I just kept studying and kept looking at all like, you know, like I'd see something new come out like oh no someone someone did it someone took my you know someone did my idea and um and then it never was quite that and what I found was they they all seemed to be these like they call themselves like these silver bullet type salute like you know the saviors it's like oh hey if you just download this one app this is going to change your life and it could be really helpful but um you know it's it's one small part of a much larger solution 
And so for me, on my personal journey, what's worked for me has changed and it's evolved over time. And so, you know, what we're, the way we're looking at is how can we, we're, 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 the best way of saying it is we are modality agnostic. I don't care what helps someone. I just want them to have access to it and have, have a good way to be introduced to it and to get the resources and the tools and the teachings of the people who are experts in that modality as quickly, easily, and inexpensively as possible. Um, and I want the people providing those resources to be able to grow and scale their businesses. That's really, like, we, we really want to empower both sides. We're really the only company that's coming at it from both sides. Like we, you know, we're trying to solve the problems for the, you know, the people getting the help and support while also solving the problems for the people that provide it. And we're bringing them all together in like one community type place that, um, you know, just is, is easy for everyone to use and just reduces so much of the friction that exists when you say, hey, like you start having like the idea, like maybe I should get help. Maybe, or it's not even just for people who like are struggling, right? I mean, for me personally, I'd like to eliminate this concept of people have to hit rock bottom. That's a deeply personal, passionate, the other thing I'm passionate about. I don't, if, if people could not have to hit rock bottom in order to, to better their lives, I mean, that's, that would be an amazing thing to accomplish or to, you know, if we can affect some positive change there, it's a, it's a win if we, if we can do anything. Um, but not just that, it's like once we're doing well, you want to keep it going. And so it's, it's for people who want to level up too. But again, it's like, I, I might have the intention, I might have the motivation, I might have a desire, but the amount of friction between I have this desire and then I do 600 Google searches to find the right person, find the right thing, and then set the appointment. And maybe the appointment's with the right modality, but it's not quite the right fit of person. Um, we're just trying to take all that out of it. So uh, and to answer your question a little bit shorter, it's we're really the only one with you know coming at it from both sides with a with a, with a holistic approach as opposed to like a single tool. And I think it's just so fragmented right now, like Paul was alluding to, where, you know, you might follow somebody on Instagram who shares a few little, you know, tips or tricks, but then you have to go to a different app for your meditation or a different app to meet your therapist or a different app to explore, you know, some other thing you might be curious about. And that curiosity has to be sparked enough for you to go into all of these different resources. And some of it's just kind of a, a game of luck right now or a game of hashtags or a game of, you know, just your friend telling you something. And with Ari, we're going to be able to expose people to different kinds of healing styles that maybe they've never heard of or that they have heard of, but they're curious about and they haven't known how to explore it. So we'll be able to kind of point you in the direction of healers and healing styles that are aligned with you and your needs as well as, you know, broadening your horizons um, without having to go between nine different apps to do all of this. We'll all be in one place. And, and just, to, sorry, one last thing on that. And we're doing it in a way, like we're not, we're doing it in a way that people like to get their information. So it's going to feel, it's going to have the look and the feel and some of the experience of like some of your favorite social media, you know, uh, apps. You want it to be there. fun. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be fun, and like you're gonna be you're gonna be able to get a similar. That's how people want to get to that information, their information now, and like that's that's fine. Like I'm not trying to completely. I don't think our goal is to change the way people, um, you know, get their content. But so like we're trying to find people, like we're we're trying to meet them where they are, and that way it's like, okay. This is how you want your content. We'll meet you. Know, we'll we'll make sure you're getting it that way. But it, instead of like on Instagram where it's like, oh, like I follow these these three or four people that like look at these inspiring memes three times a day, but then everything else I'm doing is comparing myself to someone living some life is probably not that real, making me feel like shit. There's plenty of studies out there about how bad social media is for mental health. Um, but so, yeah, it's, we're, we're, we're trying to meet people in the middle um, and meet them where they are while giving them something different. I also love the ability to like the location ability where you don't just have to find a practitioner or facilitator or wellness person um, down the street from you. Now you've opened it up globally. And I, 
you know, when I first got into digital fitness, um, I had a coach that was in Miami. I was in LA at the time, and it was just really cool to be able to reach somebody across the country and work with them one-on-one. And so I think just having that capability too is gold. Right. I mean, and if there are so many people who would love to do the eat, pray, love thing, right. You know, but it's not in the cards for everyone and being able to be like, you don't have to go to Bali to be able to work with or learn from the influencer that you follow or the person who you feel connected to, um, being able to kind of bring the whole world of appealing into, into someone's pocket, um, is something we're, we're really excited about being able to do. And I, and I think it's also super exciting. Yeah. I think it's also one of the few benefits of COVID, right? Like this was one of the last spaces that was still like very brick and mortar based. Like if you were going, if you're going to do any kind of like healing work, whether it was a therapist or whatever, like you're going to get in your car and you're going to drive to their tiny office in like a weird building and, you know, go sit there. And um, now you don't have to like that those walls were ripped out. So like there were pandemic in a way like it increased the problem. I think it also made the problem more people were more aware of mental health being a thing. It reduced the stigma and also reduced the idea that you can only get help in person. Um, I think it's still great, but we want to extend that and yeah, just make it more accessible. So what can we expect when you officially launch? Like where, where's everything at right now? Where we are, we're, we're building everything very intentionally, very deliberately, and we're taking our time um, in terms of just wanting to do it right. Uh, you know, I've been in the startup world for a while and like the, there's added, like you move fast and break shit and that's not really how we're approaching it. Uh, we start off by you know, working with people like yourself, Jana, like and, and other facilitators that you know, have practices that they want to expand digitally and offer more people. Like we've really been working on solving their problems first, so really solving that the facilitator side, so that they can uh, you know have a platform where they can create subscriptions. That's really what the MVP is about. It's a it's a subscription um, subscription tool, so you can create a profile um create as many different types of levels of subscriptions as you want to for your programs and your content and then users can join and um be introduced to you through our social feed which we call an inspiration feed uh which you know ultimately will allow people to like we want to make a sharing circle like people sharing their stories so you hear about other people that are going through similar things or have inspired in stories you know get that that uh strength hope and um and solutions so you have in these things and uh and then when you find someone that resonates with you or you think you know how is this solution that can help you then it's one click away and you can actually start getting to work immediately and then those things you subscribe to are creates like your daily practice for your user so like we like when you mentioned like all these different apps like i use like seven or eight apps for my daily exercise a day for meditation to breath work to journaling um to like tracking stuff it just and it's yeah so so siloed they'll all be in one place you can, and we'll track your progress and things like that so those are some of the things coming but originally it'll be invite only to start but if uh you know maybe at the end we can have our, on your on uh, the podcast info we can put some of our information if people really want to join um and be some of our early testers you know it's going to be it's going to be glitchy and uh, we're looking, we want people to come in and try to break it so we can make it better. But that's sort of where we're at now. We're at the, Hey, we, we, we built this original thing. We were putting it out there. Now we want people to come and break it and tell us how to make it better and what they want. And like, we're really, everything's going to be based off of listening to what people want um, and delivering that. Well, I think user experience is everything. So you're doing the right thing and we'll definitely put all the information in the show notes. So That'll be there. But Lindy, what were you, what were you going to say? Um, I just wanted to expand a little bit on the subscription model that we're going with um, and kind of explain why we've, why we've taken that route. Um, and one of the reasons is that, you know, it can be another barrier to entry for help, right? Is, you know, going to therapy is very expensive. Going even to a yoga class can be really expensive. And people hesitate to commit to one person or one practice because, 
they, you know, it's a lot of money. And what if you don't like this person or you try it and, you know, it, it, you don't think it was worth the value. With our subscription model, you'll be able to follow different user or different facilitators and their their daily practices for anywhere from free up to whatever they would set their monthly prices at at different varying tiers. But you can kind of create your own personalized, tailored help program all in one easy to access place for just a few dollars a month. So, you know, for two, three, four, five dollars, you could be following your yoga instructor and get a daily daily yoga video from them and then also have your meditation coach and your therapist. And instead of spending $300 a month, you're spending 15 to $20 a month and getting a wide array of, of practices from a different assortment of people. That's incredible. I love it. I love this. All of it. Um, how do facilitators and consumers get involved at this point? I know you touched on it. Yeah. So right. You know, so far it's been people within our network. You know, Lindy really, Lindy's role right now really is on recruiting and finding the right people. And it's a mix of people. Um, as I said, like we're, we're modality agnostic, but like we are purposely getting a wide range of facilitators, everything from very traditional therapists with PhDs and all kinds of, you know, all kinds of letters behind their names to, um, like you said, like yogis or life coaches, life coaches. Yes. Thank um, you. Yeah. I blanked out for a second, but <laughs> I could, that's why, cause I've been more focused on one side and I've got Lindy focused on the other. So um, like I can give you the whole list of, yeah. of everybody that we're working with. R right. And so uh, it's mostly been within, within our network and part of that's because like, we're, we're being very picky uh, with who we're going to allow on first. We have to want to make sure that there's no charlatans. There's a, one of the other problems we've heard a lot from users is like, there's just a trust level, right? It's like, a lot of these people selling their stuff is pitching themselves on on social media sites. It's just it's garbage. They're just trying to make money. So we're trying to make sure that while we build a scalable vetting process, um, you know what we're doing right now is it's scalable, but we're making sure that we get the right people and that we can help them first. Um, but yeah, I think reaching out to to Lindy or through the website is is the best way to go okay and like i said this will be in the show notes and um lindy's information too so where can we find you right now in san diego <laughs> <laughs> online yeah so ori wellness is the instagram our website right now is info. that will be Anything soon, but you'll still be able to find us there. Like I said, everything is still going to be invitation only for the MVP, so it's not really like our full launch. But this is this is exciting, and, um, and we're also this is also coincides with we hope to be closing our first you know big funding round soon, um, and that's that's been a journey. Um, but yeah, we got we got a team of you know six people working full time right now. Um, it's a diverse group that but the thing that really binds us is everyone's super passionate about helping people um but yeah i guess i i trailed off from your question I get, I get excited no i love to hear it and you do have a beautiful team and you guys just mesh so well and it's diverse and and it's just been really fun for me on the sidelines to watch the evolution like i was saying earlier but um lindy do you have anything more to add um just Touching on the team, I mean, it's it continued to awe me how natural all of this has felt with everybody that we're working with on the RE team and all of our facilitators. Um, the amount of times that I have heard different people that we're connected to say something along the lines of like, this just feels so easy or effortless or like I've been doing this for so long. It just, it, it feels like everybody is kind of coming together in this, this larger purpose and everybody's playing the exact role that they um that they're best suited to play and it's it's harmonizing wonderfully and i just am excited about where where we're taking it i'm excited too and i just love that ari ari is here to heal the world and that's what i love about it the most um is there anything else you guys would like to add i'm just excited uh, yeah. yeah i'm just really 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 excited it's a like i said it was a big I wasn't sure if I wanted to go down this path again and jump back into the startup world, but I, 
couldn't be happier uh, than I did. I you know, one of the things when I do like a gratitude list every morning, it's for my team. Um, I feel just insanely blessed to have such smart, beautiful, caring, compassionate uh, people to work with and get to interact with every day. Um, and patient, everyone's patient with me, which I appreciate. And uh, yeah, we're just you know we're we're definitely pretty well listening. We're we we're always open to we're open to ideas. Like this really is going to be you know, community driven in a lot of ways. Um, you know we want you know our that's our job to execute and to make sure things happen and and to and to, you know help people to you know, make sure everything is running smoothly. But we want to hear from facilitators. We want to hear from users. We want to hear from people who, who listen to this and say, oh my gosh, like I've been saying this is needed for a long time. Like reach out to us and tell us what it is you need, why you need it and, and what you're looking for. And chances are it's going to resonate and, and we can bring you in. Um, people are like, this is the best business idea ever. I want to invest. You guys can definitely reach out too. Um, <laughs> I can put and... that in the show notes as well. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, I think spreading the word and just... Uh, letting us know how we can be helpful to you. It's this is a platform we want to want people, you know, want to we want to empower people at the end of the day, right? To live joyous, blissful lives and whatever they need to do to get there, whether it's healing, support, mentorship, guidance, we just want to make it easy. And um, so if you've got something to share or add or want to share a story, like, you know, please reach out. And on that note, some of the things, you know, we what we're launching first is the subscription based platform that we've talked about um, with the inspiration feed that will be similar to a news feed that you might see on Instagram. But some of the visions that we have for the future, you know, include being able to form community centered around healing so that people can get peer to peer support as well as support from professionals in whatever help it is that they need uh, the ability to host courses and sessions and all of that within the platform we're really you know we're starting with one angle of this but building it out into a, a beautiful online space that will be truly a one-stop shop for all of your healing and connection needs and that we you know will also hope spills out into the 3d world in the way that people connect with one another and heal as well and, and to that point um one of the things I'm excited about is just because like I've been to so many retreats and like wellness or self improvement getaways. Like my mom started sending me them when I was like 16. Um, and I not because I was a bad kid, but I think because you know you raised seven kids and it was easier to someone else do some of that. But uh, but. And I'm so grateful for that. But one of the things that's always been missing for me is like when you leave, there's just this sense of like, just maybe these really close friends. I just found this, this person that's so helpful to me. Like they're teaching. I want to continue with it. And so be able to extend that community. So if you know, you're at a retreat, um, you know, if it's retreats on Ari, then you can like actually join join that community. Like when you're talking, there's things that we're we're doing in the future. So really that the human connection you know, sort of eliminating your loneliness and things like that um and putting everything at your fingertips it should be like a, it should feel like a retreat in, in your pocket for the user ultimately and one of the reasons that like paul said you know you started going to to those retreats when you were a teenager um but all of us that are working on this have our own personal stories of when and how we were struggling um, you know, I know personally, I, as a child, was already struggling with suicidal ideation. I was in therapy. You know, there was a lot of stuff that I've been working on in different ways since my childhood. And finding what works for me and then realizing what works for other people to help them heal is so incredibly different. And there are so many different things out there. And all of us that are working on this have our own stories of how we've struggled and how we've grown and how we've overcome things in our own lives. And they're all so different and also so similar in the same way. Um, and that kind of unifying thread of being like, no, like it's a different process for everyone. And that continued community and care is one of the central tenets that is a common thread through all of this. Uh, so we just want to be able to help people help themselves in whatever way is best for them and make it easier to find that community and that care 
and whatever that looks like for you is amazing. I think bottom line is it's needed. It's needed. And I love what Paul said about um, Ari being a wellness retreat in your pocket. That's, that's a good, I love it. I just love the idea. Good good tagline. Good tagline. Thank you. Took the words out of my mouth. (laughs) Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on my 50th episode. This has been such a joy and I'm so excited to just watch the progression of Ari and and really excited for your official launch date. So like I said, everything's going to go in the show notes. And again, thank you so much for joining the show. Thank you so much, Jaina. Well, thank you so much. And it's an honor to be on your 50th podcast. And just like what we're doing is needed, what you do is very needed. And I love your podcast and I love listening to it. And you always have such amazing guests. And I always love hearing them say at the end that they have a soul you can look at new soul connection every week uh, so <laughs> just the want to bounce back all the nice things you said and it's uh we do your podcast the same way and we're really grateful for the work you do thank you so much paul i appreciate that so much Thank you for joining me for another episode of Ageless. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Tune in next week for a new episode. 